Hello, welcome to Daily News for Majaya TV. Commemoration of the martyrdom of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, at the residence of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the Holy City of Qom. On the 28th of Safar 1446 AH, the residence of Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Husseini Shirazi in the Holy City of Qom held a ceremony to commemorate the martyrdom anniversary of the Noble Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family. Various groups of people, including mourners, religious scholars, cultural activists, and seminary students, gathered to pay their respects in the presence of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. Together with the eulogists of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, the attendees mourned the loss of the Holy Prophet of Islam. This ceremony was broadcast live on Marjaya TV Network, other Shia satellite networks, TV boxes, and the Al Shirazi app. Gathering of mourners on the martyrdom anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, with remarks by Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. In conjunction with the martyrdom anniversary of the Holy Prophet of Islam, may God's peace and blessings be upon him and his family. On the 28th of Safar, 1446 AH, the residence of His Eminence, Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Husseini Shirazi in the Holy City of Qom, hosted the annual gathering of mourners. As in previous years, the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi delivered a speech during this gathering, emphasizing the importance of upholding pure and the genuine Islam. This speech was broadcast live on Marjaya TV network, across different Shia satellite channels, and through the Al Shirazi app and TV boxes, starting at 2 p.m. Qom local time. Conclusion of Al Khair Wal Baraka Cultural Association's activities for Arbain 1446. The Al Khair Wal Baraka Cultural Association, affiliated with the Religious Authority Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Baghdad, concluded its activities for the Sacred Arbain of 1446 AH. During this period, this association, in collaboration with the branches in Baghdad, Karbala, Mahmudiyya, and Wasit, served the pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, by offering various foods and drinks, organizing weekly gatherings for seeking the intercession of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, commemorating the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Hassan al-Mushtaba, peace be upon him, welcoming delegations of the Husseini organizations, hosting pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, and arranging congregational prayers and accommodations for pilgrims. Inauguration of the 23rd Drinking Water Well drilled by the Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Mazar Sharif, Afghanistan. The 23rd Drinking Water Well drilled by the Office of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Husseini Shirazi in the city of Mazar Sharif, Afghanistan has been inaugurated. This well was dug in collaboration with the Mesbah Hussein Cultural and Charitable Foundation in the Holy City of Karbala under the supervision of the Religious Authority and became operational on Wednesday, 23rd of Safar of this year. Hundreds of families in the underprivileged areas of Mazar Sharif now have access to clean drinking water through this well. Weekly meeting of the Najaf Center for Strategic Studies in the Holy City of Najaf. Another weekly meeting of the Al Fiqh Council of the Najaf Center for Strategic Studies and CSS, affiliated with the Religious Authority in the Holy City of Najaf, was held. This meeting was attended by a group of professors and seminary students from the Holy City of Najaf who engaged in discussions on various religious and cultural topics. Najaf Office's Preaching Unit hosts Arbain 1446 activists. The Preaching Unit of the Office of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Husseini Shirazi in the Holy City of Najaf hosted members of the tents offering religious guidance to pilgrims during the sacred Arbain of 1446 AH, along with group of volunteers from the Husseini organization serving the pilgrims. Sheikh Muhammad Taghi Zakri addressed the guests interpreting sections of the Ziyarat of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, recited on the day of Arbain. He emphasized the importance of understanding the status and dignity of the followers of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. At the end of this gathering, the guests were honored with plaques of appreciation presented by Sayyid Atullah Husseini, the office's director. <laughs>